Hi everyone, this is Bobby from bn-games.com and I'm doing another classic melody. This is a twofer. Um, you know, usually do once of the, one of these every couple months, but uh, just do the Gal, um, Gal Ken theme, which uh, I want you to go see as well. And I'm going to show you something, uh, an interpretation of the Devil May Cry 3 intro riff, uh, intro um, organ riff. Um, this is all going to be on guitar here. I'm not going to play the rest of the song. It's just the intro. Um, the intro is my favorite part of that song anyway, you know, where Dante and him, Virgil, are fighting uh, against the moon in the intro. If you haven't played the game, go play it and then come back to this video. <laughs> so, I'm going to play it here. It's all a really basic, really basic, um, try to go note for note for it and um, follow the, the method. So. There's no tabs for this as usual. Um, it's just going to be playing it and then showing you how, you know, how to play it as best as possible. Um, so we'll do that. And uh, this is in the standard tuning, uh, standard tuning. So let's get on that. Devil May Cry intro organ theme. <laughs> That's it. So this is how you play it. Um, it's about four variations of a similar uh, chord going up and down. It's uh, very, I don't know what key it is in, but uh, we'll do a solo. So, first one, open. have a fairly good use of alternate picking with your right hand. If you don't have this, this is going to be difficult because you I wouldn't want to do it straight down. So if you don't have alternate picking down, it's at least, you know, to a certain extent, this might be a little difficult. But if you do, then this should be fine. You need palm it. Those notes. And you go down. Same notes, just down. And open. That's going to be your bottom note. that note for the next, you know, the next um, up scale to down scale, which, you know, it's a variation. So, so it's, it's a little different on the, the notation, so you have to listen very carefully. So, that's very, you know, very violin-esque. So, it's still the same variation of notes, same, you know, same, your hand's going to be the same position for the most part, almost the entire lick. So, then you get that last note. That, that two, those two notes you repeat twice. And then you start here. So then, you know, because that's the peak, so it's high, low, and then you go on. If you, if you were looking you're looking at sheet music. Sorry, I missed that. This is where it's going to be 
you, instead of hitting this note, it's going to be this note. This is going to be the bottom note of that scale. So. Climbing up, down, uh, and uh, like 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 rolling hills as the hills go down further. As, as far as notation is concerned, in um, in octaves. I always repeat it twice when I play it because. The first time you'll play that last part, you play that last note open, and the second time you can, you know, play the spiral chord. Try, try to do it that way; it's a little harder. That'll be a different video. <laughs> I've never, I haven't tried that. Anyway, that's the basics. So, try to play it fast and sound right. So, one last time. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.